Okay, we need to open our poster from last week that we started on what is safe to share and what's not safe to share. So you're going to find your computer up here and it is going to open this box and yours is going to look more like this but with a lot less stuff. And you're going to look for a little orange P and it should say publisher or DC for digital citizenship, one of those things. And if you click on it, your poster is going to open up. Okay. So here's my poster. And last week we started on our title, which is Digital Citizens, and we started our list of um, things that you can share and things that you can't share. So let's review on how we got these. To get your title, if you didn't do that last week, you are going to go to the third tab over. One, two, three, it says insert up here. I click on insert. And then you're going to see a big A and it says word art. When you click on that, you get these options to choose from. You pick the one that you want, you click on it, delete, and begin typing. When you're done typing your title, you click OK and it'll pop up just like this. Now your text boxes, remember, you need to have three things that are safe to share and three things that are not safe to share. To get a text box, you'll be, you will be back at your home screen. You'll see this where it says draw text box. It's a piece of paper with an A in it. So if I click that, my mouse turns into a cross or a plus sign. And then I click on my mouse and drag it and then I get my box. Once it's blinking inside the box, I can begin to type my list. And if you want to change your font, you can use these tools up here. And we discussed that in the last class, so make sure you ask a neighbor if you need help. So we have our title, our three things that are safe to share, three things that cannot share, and I forgot to put my name on my paper. So I'm going to go back to insert. And if you go all the way to the end, almost, you'll see where it says footer right here. And it's got a piece of paper with a yellow box at the bottom. Our footer. Whatever you put on your footer would show up on every single page. Well, I want my name here. So I'm going to put my name, make sure there's a capital letter. And to make a capital letter, you press and hold the purple shift and the letter at the same time. So I type my name. I can close and I'm back on my main page. The last thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to insert some clip art here. So, oh no, I'm going to insert some shapes. My fault. And the first shape that I'm going to insert is going to be, so I go to insert, one, two, three, it's the third tab over, insert, shapes, and then this drop down pops up. And I am going to get in the third section, one, two, three, you will see a circle that symbols, symbolizes no. And we're going to click on that. And these are the things that I cannot share, so I'm going to draw it. And look how it messes up my words. So to fix this, first I'm going to send it backwards. So see this orange box in the back and white in the front? So I'm going to send it backwards. And look, now it's behind my text. And I can also change the color of this if I want. So here's the fill color. Oh, that's my text box. And I can make it red. Oop, my font back up. Okay, so there's the things that I'm not allowed to do. Okay, so we did that with our shapes. Insert shapes. 
Now we're going to do a check. Well, there's no check in shapes. So we're going to go over here to online pictures. See, it's a picture with a globe on it. And I'm going to type the word check. C-H-E-C-K. And to make it come up, I'm going to press the green enter button. And I get checks. I'm going to click on the one that I want, this one right here. And then I press insert. And it came up. Well, this is way too big. So I'm going to make this smaller. I'm going to put it right there. And I'm going to do the same thing that I did with my shape. I need to send it to the back. So look up here in the formatting, and you'll see send backward. So I sent it back. So these are things that I can do, things that I can't do. You can tell because of the visuals. If you want, you can add more graphics to your paper. So you just go to Insert, Online Pictures, and you can search Tech for Technology. And you can put any of these pictures on here that you think are appropriate. Maybe I want this one. Here and make it smaller. Stick it right there. And I'm done. Once you're done with your poster, write your lunch number on the piece of paper. And I will check it and print it for you later. Okay?